Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. It's good to be on the range today, glad to be here. About a month ago, I posted a video cycling a variety of different loads through this Henry H001. And among those, I shot some bird shot or rat shot or snake shot. It's number 12 shot, whatever you refer to it as. But I had several of you guys, because I said in that video that this stuff didn't pattern very good out of the rifled barrel. I had some of you guys ask me to do a patterning test. So that's what I've got set up here today. I've got the cardboard target stand out. I've got a tape measure laid out so I can move the target back and know exactly how far I am from it. We're gonna test this stuff at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 feet out of the rifle barrel. Now 30 feet is about the useful limit no matter how good the gun patterns, you know, this is rated at a thousand feet per second. Number 12 shot is really small and there's only a fifth ounce of it. So even if the gun patterned great past 30 yards, it's just not going to have much energy. So I figured that'd be plenty of distance for the test. So I've got the first one set up at five feet. We will get right to the point and go ahead and get started. I've got these targets that I'm using. These are, they're four inches across. The green part you see is three and a half inches apart, or three and a half inches across. I wanted to use a small target. Since this is made for pest control, you're gonna be shooting at a small target, like a, a rat, a mouse, maybe a pigeon in the barn, something like that, at close range. So I decided to use these smaller targets. So let's get one loaded up, five feet away. And what I'll do is I'll take that target off, I'll, I'll mark it five feet. I'll set the next one up, do the same all the way through 30 feet. And then we'll look at all the targets side by side. 10 feet. Fifteen feet. Twenty feet. Twenty five feet. And thirty feet. Okay, so you can see at five feet, the pattern is very useful. If you wanted to get off your mower, say you, I don't know, you run over a snake and cut it in half and you want to finish it off, you know, a little tight pattern like that at five feet standing right over it, that's going to work just fine. Double that to 10 feet, the pattern gets a lot thinner. Still may be useful for rats in the barn or something like that. About the same on the 15 feet. Uh, that's probably just luck of the pattern. The, it didn't change much between the 10 and 15. The 15 actually looks a little bit better than the 10 foot one. But when you get to 20 feet from here on, you can see that the pattern is just too sparse to get reliable hits. We did get a couple there in the middle white area, but they're it's just a very thin pattern. 25, it gets even worse. And of course, at 30 feet, you don't have much of a pattern left at all, at least on a target this small. Just realized I've been dragging my microphone around on the ground behind me, dangling by the cord. <laughs> Look how muddy that is. I guess it's still working. 
Anyway, so out of a rifle barrel, we see that that tiny little bird shot load or snake shot load, it spreads really quick because of that centrifugal force. But there used to be a time when you could go buy a smooth bore 22 and shoot those things from a smooth bore and supposedly the patterns were much better. Well, Henry has brought that time back. I told them about this video that I've been requested to do a, a snake shot patterning video with my Henry H001 and they were nice enough to send over one of their smooth bore garden guns. These were just released this year for me to do some side by side comparisons with. So I'm gonna do the exact same set that I just went through, but I'm gonna use this smooth bore this time and see if our patterns improve. So I'm starting all over at five feet again. Let's do it. All right, so here's our results. You can see much tighter patterns, five feet, 10 feet. I just wrote the G on there so we can get the garden gun patterns mixed up with the H001. 15 feet, excellent little pattern. 20, still got a pretty good pattern. And even at 25 and 30 feet, we still got a usable pattern. Whereas at 25 and 30 feet with the H001, there just was even at 20 feet there's just not much of a pattern there it wouldn't be very reliable on anything pest or otherwise at 20 and 20 and beyond whereas the the smooth bore can get you on out to 30 feet or a full 10 yards so i'm guessing the question will probably come up is who would want one of these or why would you want one of these these would be handy to have around the stockyards where you want to shoot pests like rats and mice without taking a chance on a ricochet hitting one of your livestock or or yourself uh, you don't want to blow a hole through the roof you know once this gets past about 30 feet it's not going to do much damage you're not going to blow a hole in a two by four or uh, knock a board off the barn it'd be real handy to have of course around the garden how it's got its name garden gun i need to kill a snake out of the garden or whatever whatever you need it for. Uh, be great to have in the tractor cab with you. Uh, wouldn't hurt to put a, I may even put a scabbard on my mower and just have this thing with me when I'm mowing. I'm all the time, you can imagine, keeping this range mowed. I'm all the time hitting snakes and things like that. Be handy to have something just to finish them off real quick. But, and you can probably think of a ton more uses. But just to demonstrate, I've got a piece of tin, roofing tin, set up back there at 30 feet. And I've got a aluminum can right here on top of my cardboard target. I'm gonna shoot that can and we'll see what kind of damage it does to my roof back there. This cycle's fine, I'll show you that in a minute. I've just been loading them one at a time since I've been walking down range and back. It's just a little safer that way. Let me line this shot up to where the tin is right behind the can. Let's have a look and see if we've got a leaky roof now. All right, so here's our can. If that were representing a rat, he'd certainly be a goner. And here's our piece of roofing tin. Just kind of knock the paint off. None of those went through or even came close to going through the tin. Let's do a direct shot on it without having a tin can or a aluminum can in the way. Okay, 
So let's say you just had a clean miss, just a direct shot on your metal roof in your barn at 30 feet away. I want to shoot a little low on that. Would you blow a hole in your roof? See that it gives you a better idea of how the complete pattern looks now those holes are nail holes this is an old used piece of tin these little specks are where that rat shot hit didn't even damage the roof you wouldn't even know it you wouldn't even know it been shot from the other side <laughs> look at that thing yeah you guys see that i'm not a big fan you a buffalo's outdoors fan are you subscribed to the channel? <laughs> All right, it's about time to bring this video to a close. In case I didn't explain earlier in the video, we're shooting CCI shot shells. These are for 22 long rifle, number 12 shot, rated at 1,000 feet per second, 31 grain payload. And they are for pest control, what it says on the box. Now, I didn't cycle any through the gun today through this garden gun so i'm going to do that real quick just so i don't have any comments saying they wish they would have saw it cycle we'll cycle it it actually holds 15 in the magazine too so we'll cycle those through it Cycle's just fine. Had a little hiccup there. That was just me short stroking. But that's all I got for today's video. Thank you to all of you guys that are subscribed, all of you guys that are watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Extra special thank you to you guys that are supporting over on Patreon. I picked up a few more supporters here lately. I can't thank you guys enough. That means a lot to me. That's, that's what the channel runs on, is that Patreon money. So, uh, very, very appreciated. I'll close the video out with some close-ups of this Henry Garden gun. Just a good-looking, good-looking gun. I've got, you know, looks a lot like my H001, except they use that, they call it black ash on the wood for the furniture. It's a really different kind of texture. It's got a, you can feel the grain standing out in that. It's not a smooth finish like on the H001. But I'll, I'll get some close-ups of it. And we'll call it a day. I'll talk with y'all again soon.